After Manchester United's 1-0 loss to Newcastle on the road, legendary player Paul Scholes of Manchester United delivered a biting critique of Eric Ten Hag's team. The only goal of the match for the home team, Anthony Gordon, left Scholes extremely upset with United's performance as they lost at St James Park. With eight victories and six losses in 14 games, Ten Hag's club is now in seventh place in the Premier League despite having struggled with consistency throughout the season. Scholes said that there are too many lazy players at United and called the team's performance rubbish. Trash. When asked for his assessment on his previous team's state of affairs, he told Premier League Productions, They're a poor football team at this minute. The recent results they've had are misleading. You can't get away with having too many lazy players on the football team. The first thing you do when you go to these places is work hard. Feel bad for the full backs because you can see how happy Newcastle is getting down both sides. Scholes targeted two United players in particular, even though he was critical of United as a collective. While Marcus Rashford wasn't at his best for the majority of this season, he was terrific at times last season. When Anthony took his place in the 61st minute against Newcastle, the 26-year-old became enraged. According to Scholes, Rashford has no grounds for complaint regarding his withdrawal. What is he surprised about, he asked. It's beyond me. What does he believe justifies his continued presence on the field? He was doing more harm than good for the squad. There is no doubt about Marcus's ability. He was excellent last year. However, I don't think it's helpful for the team when you decide to walk back like that and he acts and comes off like way. And he's currently among the most seasoned players. It's a player that other players admire. He's looked up to by Maynou. He is looked up to by Garnacho. Bruno Fernandes was also criticised by Scholz, who claimed that the United team is suffering because of his lack of a defined position. Bruno, according to Scholes, is another. He can score and create goals, no doubt about it, but I would want to see what the manager is asking him to do in the changing room prior to a game. What role is he asking him to take on? Where on the football field should you be? His finest position, in my opinion, is no 10, where he can play passes and score goals. Where was he this evening? That was never where he was. He can occasionally be the deepest Manchester United player, beating the goalkeeper. I see him on the left and the right. I don't believe that is beneficial to the team. It throws off both the formation and the style of play. The Champions League match concluded in a 3-3 draw away to Galatasaray, although United's loss to Newcastle came after a 3-1 lead for Ten Hag's club. In Group A of the Champions League, the Red Devils sit at the bottom and will need to fight their way up to the knockout stages. Ten Hag was furious with Anthony Marshall for not coming back during the loss to Newcastle. Marshall's inability to close down nearly gave Miguel Almiron the opportunity to score, supporting Scholl's allegations over the lack of effort from United players. Marshall and Ten Hag got into a fight, and the Frenchman was eventually replaced. Some United players may not be content with the positions they are playing in, according to Jermaine Genas. I personally thought tonight there were signs that there were a couple of players in there for me that weren't happy with the tactics that were put to them or wasn't happy with their positions on the pitch, Gina stated in an interview with TNT Sports. There were certain team members who were communicating with the management through their body language, which can sometimes reveal a lot about them. I felt that Marcus Rashford in particular stated, Look, I don't want to be playing on this right-hand side with the way he simply went around and threw his arms around. There was no turning back. Fabian Schaub was running Marshall from the centre half, doing whatever he pleased. It's concerning that I didn't witness the same amount of respect from the players on the field today as I did from Ten Hag, who seems to be such a strict disciplinarian off the field. There were far too many of those instances that I saw